yo what's up guys welcome to today's video in today's video i'll be showing you guys how to install and set up the new microsoft edge on windows 10 if you are on windows 10 it still has the old edge browser and you don't like it then here is a good one for you microsoft did a complete revamp of the microsoft edge browser based on chromium open source project apparently the same Google Chrome we are all using so it's it's very very cool and in this video I'll be showing you guys how to stop so stay along and let's see how to just do that Before we get into the setup process, let's talk about the new Edge browser. The new Microsoft Edge is based on Chromium project. Um, Chromium is an open source web browser project and browsers like Google Chrome, user browser are all built on it. The new Edge will be very similar to Chrome, especially the user experience. It has most features that can be found on Chrome support all chrome browser extensions and has the same rendering engine as google chrome um the same rendering engine in the sense that if a website was designed and works on google chrome but didn't work on the old edge browser it will now work properly on the new edge since um google chrome and the new edge has the same rendering engine just like Google Chrome, the new version of Microsoft Edge will be updated every six weeks. You don't have to wait for major browser, major release of Windows 10 versions every six months just for browser updates, very slow. And that's how we used to wait for browser updates every six months. Um, the new Microsoft Edge browser stable version was released on January 15, 2020. If you don't have them yet, then here is the right video for you to install it. After installation, it will replace the old Edge browser with a new version. The original version of Edge is now officially called the legacy version of Edge. The old Edge will remain installed for compatibility reasons, but Windows will hide it. I don't know why. Um, you can tell if you are using the new Edge if it has a new logo. Um, it's a blue green it's a blue and green square rather than it's simply as blue like we used to have so microsoft will be rolling or already rolled out the new edge to all windows 10 users via windows updates around this month may 2020 and of course you can choose not to install the new, the new edge browser but i don't think anyone would do that um if you don't have the update yet and you can't wait for the windows updates so let's get started now open the edge browser um head over to the uh, top extreme end of the browser and there's a three dot button click on it scroll down mouse over on app and, app and feedback then click on what's new and tips you can see that what's new tips Clicking that should open the new Microsoft Edge download page where you can download the new Microsoft Edge um, update. So click on that button and follow the installation instruction.
so why we wait for the installation of the new edge browser to finish let's talk about why microsoft is ditching their old ranging engine edge html for chromium uh, microsoft announced that it, that they're going to replace edge html ranging engine with the um chromium ranger engine in december 2019 the announcement then was so shocking like everyone it's like it took everyone in surprise because after all, microsoft microsoft they have always like insisted on building their own engine ground up even edition was originally based on the on the microsoft trident engine which is um which is built for internet explorer so you can imagine how that add okay, imagine how hard that would be for them to be able to like eat the let's say the same level as micro as google chrome or chromium according to microsoft the decision was made to create better um, web compatibility for customers and less fragmentation of the web for all web developers yeah like it's actually the best options it's actually one of the best decisions they made after like after supporting like open source um, project so with this new partnership with microsoft um there will be massive improvements on chromium since microsoft will be imparting the experience they have um they have on edge and into chromium uh, because since chromium is now large is now backed by big um, companies big software companies there will be much much support and of course there'll be more improvement so it's a win-win for everyone and it's actually something good for the community so yeah so tada um so tada our new edge browser installation is completed and here we can see the new edge browser and you can see how neat it is i really like the new design especially the logo i really do like it so let's see how we can set it up so the first thing you are going to notice is the similarity between chrome um actually this is actually the first thing i noticed if you look at my book map uh, i can see my bookmark from um google chrome and it's actually very like very neat because it looks just like google chrome and yeah there's so many differences between edge there are some differences between edge and um google chrome but like but mostly they are just similar every and and another thing i noticed is the that i think um edge is sharing the same state as my google chrome that means i can literally see the same history the um the history in my google chrome history on edge the same data i have on google chrome on edge because it's kind of wearing me out right now because i can see my history right here and also my bookmark already bookmarked automatically so um to get um later updates maybe you want to update your your edge browser later in the future um there are some you have to like go through steps like we did when updating it to this new one you have to go through the settings click on the settings button scroll down to um scroll down to i don't know okay you have to scroll down to air punch feedback then click on about microsoft edge then from there you can see a page you can see an about page where it checks for updates and um and so on so from there you can update your edge browser <laughs> 